It's been well over a decade since the passing of Eddie Guerrero um, back in November 2005. Um, it was a shock to me and a lot of people that he passed away. And like he was, he had just come off of a Survivor Series qualification match to compete in the SmackDown team for Survivor Series. And last time we saw him, he gets hit in the head by a steel chair by Mr. Kennedy in retaliation due to this loss. And that's the last time we ever see of him. And it was sad to hear what happened. Like, he had done a lot in his career. He was definitely Hall of Fame worthy at that point. But he, but there was more stuff he headed for him. Um, I'll get to that in a bit. Like, he had won the WWE title, the uh, Intercontinental title, God knows how many times. He just came off of a popular storyline with, with uh, Rey Mysterio. And how dark and disturbing that was when he brutalized him. Like, I literally cringed. Like, that was the first time for me. I was literally cringing at the brutality what Eddie Guerrero did to his best friend. So, Eddie managed to capture uh, the audience and managed to make them feel disturbed watching this. And all that. And he was in numerous ladder matches and all the And... He was just a great performer. He was in WCW. He was in ECW. He was in WWE. He competed in all of the big three, big three promotions in WWE in wrestling at that point. And it was pretty shocking when he passed away. Like I wasn't aware of it. I wasn't really on the internet a lot when it came to wrestling. So when I heard his passing on Monday Night Raw, I was shocked and like he he died. No, 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 no. He, he's supposed to do a Survivor Series match. Uh, I was pretty much in denial. Like, uh, he, like everything was going for him. And years later, when, I was, when I'm more of the internet fan base group of, of wrestling, um, I discovered a numerous, pretty much of numerous things about Eddie Guerrero, what was in store for him, had he lived. Like, he was supposed to win the World Heavyweight title in a triple threat match with Randy Orton and Batista, so Batista could take some time off. And I was really, ex and I would have been really excited for that. And the other plan was for Eddie Guerrero to either hold the world title for that long or just have a dream match with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 22. That would have been awesome to see Eddie Guerrero take on Shawn Michaels in one of the main events of WrestleMania. And while I will say I did love Shawn Michaels versus Vince McMahon, on a technical standpoint, that meant Eddie versus Shawn would have been much more superior. Yeah, there was a lot of plans headed for Eddie Guerrero. Like, World Heavyweight Champion, he would have won the big gold belt. He would have competed against Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania and one of the main events at least. Like, and all, and it's all taken away from him. Like, he was pretty much being given the opportunity, the guarantee pretty much, of winning the big one again, holding the world title, and death comes in and takes it away. But I bet he lived a great life. Um, he's done a lot for his career. He's, he did a lot. It would have been awesome just had he lived to continue doing matches that we love seeing and retire gracefully and or go out and retire being the guy everyone hates and says, I'm glad he's gone mentality like Chris Jericho wants to do. But, uh, yeah. Um, Eddie lived a great career, had a great career, all that. And I... It was sad to hear his passing. Well, everyone, this was Neo Reality Entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate. And stay tuned for more. And thank you, Eddie, for the memories.